Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good today. So make sure you guys go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea for all your tea sipping needs. And also if you're interested in getting an on the go tea bottle, we just got some restock. So definitely make sure you guys check those out as well. So thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. All right, you guys, so I wanna come on here and talk about the whole Nene Leaks and Greg Leaks situation. So now I haven't really been into the Real Housewives of Atlanta like I usually am. I did finally get a chance to sit down the other day and I watched on my DVR, the Real Housewives of Atlanta. So so that way I could get caught up. And if you don't know, this season, Greg Leakes is suffering from colon cancer, okay? He's been going through a lot. As we all know, cancer is very serious. It's taken a lot of lives over the past few years, a lot of celebrity lives and just regular everyday people. And I've had discussions about cancer in the past, how I feel like a lot of these cancers are coming from the foods that we eat or coming from the chemicals, you know, that are in the air and the things that we put on our body and on our skin and things like that. So anyways, he's been diagnosed with stage 3 cancer, and it seems to be taking a toll on Nene Leakes. If you guys don't know, last month she did an interview with US Weekly, where basically she was saying that this is taking a toll on her, it's taking a toll on their marriage. She almost sounded like she was ready to leave Greg, and so a lot of people were really upset about this. A lot of folks felt like, you know what, she's just doing too much, you know, it's supposed to be for better or for worse. And so now everything went down yesterday on social media, got really bad. So Nene Leakes takes to Instagram and this is what she posted. She says, I would think if I have or had cancer, I would see life so differently. Not being mean, grouchy, and evil for no reason. But that's me. Pray for me. And then somebody replies back to Nene and they say, unfortunately, the closest person receives the undeserved lashing out. Stay strong, sis. Just breathe. Nene Leakes then responds and she says, nah, don't think I can do it. So a lot of people were really shocked by that. So then this morning, Greg ended up posting a post and Nene still was clapping back at Greg. Go ahead and check this out. So Greg goes on to post this. He says, hey, bro. I thought of you when I read this. Mark Litton wrote, a real man is the kind of man that when your feet hits the floor each morning, the devil says, oh crap, he's up. Brother, life is too short to wake up with regrets. So love the people who treat you right. Forgive the ones who don't. Believe everything happens for a reason. If you get a second chance, grab it with both hands. If it changes your life, let it. Take a few minutes to think before you act when you're mad. Forgive quickly. God never said life would be easy. He just promised it would be worth it. Then he goes on to write to all my men. Happy bros day. Thanks for touching my life. Then Nene comes on there and this is what she says. Well, you need to do everything you posted. Practice what you preach. And then she goes on to say, you need to pray for yourself. This mean, grouchy, evil stuff you pull in these days are not cool. Honey. All right now. So it sounds like shit is getting really bad for Nene Leaks and Greg Leaks. You know, my thing is this. At the end of the day, this should not even be on social media. This man is dying from cancer, right? This is a serious disease. And I can imagine if you're somebody who's not used to being sick. For the, for the average adult, you're used to not going in and out the hospital, getting blood drawn. The average adult is healthy, okay? Now, if you have a chronic illness, then you're used to being sick. You're used to getting stuck. You're used to going in, in and out the hospitals. But for someone who was once healthy and you get diagnosed with cancer, that not only takes a toll on your body physically, but it also takes a toll on you mentally. When you go from being healthy, not having any pain, to constantly being in pain, not knowing if you're going to live or die, that takes a toll on the human psyche. And my thing is you need to be there for that person, especially if you call that person your husband. Granted, it's not easy I'm sure he has horrible mood swings I hear that sometimes the medications and stuff like that that cancer patients are on can drastically change their mood and especially when you're constantly thinking about death and you know what's going to happen next that can take a toll on somebody patience is always required when you see somebody who's sick and they're going through it you have to be patient with them and I thank her blasting them on social media it's not a good look you know what I'm saying? And this is why you have to be careful how you treat people. And I'm about to keep it real. And some of y'all might get offended, but I don't give a flying fuck, okay? Let's keep it real. Greg Leakes left his original wife and they had four or five kids together. He left his entire family 
to go be with Nene Leakes, okay? We all saw this play out a few seasons back on um, The Real Housewives of Atlanta, okay? I do absolutely understand what all of you saying when you talk about communication. When Damien says that him and Greg worked out whatever issue they had, they laughed about it and moved on and hung out, he never told me. So I want you guys to understand, I don't always know what the hell's going on because Greg is not telling me. I've always felt like you guys have had some sort of issue with me and really your issue is truly with Greg. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying? saying is, you're marrying into our family. Mm -hmm. This is leaks. But this is up to your dad saying, to keep I, I you guys coming. That's you not up to my dad also just by himself. I you're see. also supposed to keep communication open with us too. You can't just yes. keep it with your kids and do then don't keep a communication listen. with us. If your dad isn't giving me, you know, your number, how do I do that? Nene, I, can't I saw you Christmas. You did you ask for my number? Why am I going to ask for your number on Christmas when you had never even apologized to me for what you did on the radio? You wouldn't even so talk it wasn't to really, me. Okay, I'm just simply saying to you, do not focus on Nene Leaks, okay? We're not focused you on need to Nene focus Leaks. on Greg Leaks. We were already here before you got here, Nene. Yes. We were already here. But, but what the does that have to do with me? The was already planted before okay. you got here. So Show who, a little respect so for the bloodline. Don't play. Don't Damn. play. Damn. Hold on. Don't Damn. play. No, 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 no. I hear Damien when he says that I don't respect their bloodline and took their last name. But let's be very clear here. I did not marry into money or politics. So if anything, when Nene took the last name of Leaks, she helped it. Trust that. I said you. He said you away pulled from away. Us. How? Because we only saw you when we came over for an event when you had a catering and, and, and wanted us to go for holidays. Boy, you don't know how many times I've asked your dad to have you guys to come over. If he don't want to call y'all to come over, what the hell do you want me to do? That's your daddy. I don't have any okay. issues with my dad. Okay, so your issues with me. I don't have Listen, any issues with you. I you said, don't when talk we come to my over daughter. there, Listen that's the only me. time we're over there. I never that's said when your dad Nene did it. I never said Greg over. did it. That I is said when that's what it is. Nene tells you to come over. Nene, we're not going to make this with me and you. Oh, yes, we are. Yes. Damn it. We can make it whatever you want to make this it, okay? Is not, let, let her finish, and then let's, let's get you in there. I know that Damon is hood with braids in his hair, but he's getting hood with the right person because I will get hood with you. Like, who the f do you think you are? You're not gonna check me. I mean, for what? You need to put your check on your dad. Have you, you have an issue? Oh, no, 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 no. Damon, I don't get on the radio, I talk about you. Damien. Hold on, let me get you to get this. I just want you to know this, Damien. When you get ready to talk to me, the door is open. Calm you down. can buck your eyes and hold your mouth wide open. I said the door is open. Hold on. I forgot. You this Nene, this Nene world. I'm my this ain't Nene's world. When you hopped up on the radio talk, you want it to be your world. Nene. You not gonna come up in here and check me. So he has a very estranged relationship with his other adult children, with his ex-wife and things like that. So I feel like that might be some of what's bothering Greg because the only person he really has in his corner to help him out is Nene and she's tired of it because you know she's a superstar she's trying to live her life she's trying to do her and you know his cancer treatment the way she comes off it seems to be cramping her style but had he kept that good relationship with his kids and his ex-wife he might have more people in his corner to help him with these treatments especially family friends are cool but they can only do so much and they can only be there so much Family tends to be there for the long run, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like that might be some of the things that are bothering him because, again, he doesn't have that really close relationship with his other children. You know, the only one, even when Nene had that big intervention, the only child that was there was Brent, and that's the child with Nene and Greg. None of his other children were there. I guess the scariest part about all of this, when we got to the hospital and the doctor saying that we need to do surgery on you tonight or you ain't gonna make it and so i went over and prayed to god and i told him if it's time let's go i i, I don't feel death i don't want to go but if my work is finished here take care of him let's go i wrote a note to my doctor and i told him to get this to you if i didn't come out Right. There. You know, so I feel like that might be really what's bothering him. That might be something that's weighing down on him. And Nene definitely has to be patient because it's not easy dealing with the sick person. 
and God forbid the shoe was on the other foot, I know Greg would be there for her hand and foot, you know, as he's been through the years. So she needs to be patient with him. They need to go see some type of spiritual counseling, marriage counseling, you know, leaving somebody when they're at their worst moment where they're dealing with cancer is not a good look, you know, so I think that she's stressed. She probably needs friends around her, family around her, people talking to her. But I think that Nini also needs to take care of herself and her mental well-being because it has to be hard watching your husband wither away and potentially die. So I think that she may need to go seek some type of counseling and, you know, vent to somebody. But going out to social media and blasting him and throwing daggers at him and calling him out, I don't think it's a good look and I don't think it's the right step to take. That's not going to make him feel better. That's not going to help him. If anything, that's going to make him sicker and stress him out even more. Okay. So I think this entire situation is insane, but I hope people take this as a lesson. Watch how you treat people. Watch how you treat your children. Watch how you treat your exes. You never know where you might be in the future. You might be fighting for your life and then you want these people around you, but because of the things that you've done and put them through, they're standoffish. You know, so this entire situation is just really sad i hope that greg gets well i hope he heals you know i hope eventually nini gets back right and she's okay but i think with all these outbursts and her blasting him and her doing these magazine interviews saying that she's tired and it's you know it's taking a toll on her i think it's making her look really bad okay but that's just my personal opinion so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Nene Leaks blasting Greg on social media. How do you guys feel about this? And then do you agree with me that you have to watch how you treat people? Because sometimes when you're at your worst moment, you'll find out that not many people are there to help you through your hard times. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.